What's going on everybody? It's the world's worst YouTuber, Matt from Casual Riders. Today I wanted to talk about a very, very simple maintenance task that motorcyclists just don't do often enough. Now, neglecting this kind of a task can cause some serious issues like punching a hole in your engine or causing your rear wheel to lock up while you're in the middle of the ride. Of course, with those two little clues, it's quite easy to deduce that I'm talking about lubricating and cleaning your chain. You see, this little thing over here needs to be serviced as often as every second refuel. I know that not enough motorcyclists are doing it because I myself am one of the motorcyclists that don't do this often enough. I've probably done about five tanks of fuel since the last time I cleaned and lubed my chain and it is high time that I do it. So I figured while I'm doing it, I'll make a video and show you just how easy it is. So in order to achieve this task, it's actually really simple. See, all you really need is a chain brush, one of these little guys, a can of chain cleaner or kerosene if you really want to do it the old school way, a can of chain lube. Now obviously I'm buying racing lube because you know, extra horsepower points for the word racing. And some microfiber cloths. I use two and then I also put some paper down or newspaper down on the floor in order to catch all the shit that drips off. Oddly enough, I didn't go get my newspaper. I'll be back. So what I'll do is I'll just throw some newspaper on the ground. Just like so in the area that I'm going to be working. You can see this is just the neighborhood's local newspaper, yeah? This is probably in the way. <laughs> right. And then, it's really easy. We take our chain cleaner and we apply it onto the chain while rotating the wheel. Normally an easy way to do this is to find your master link, which is the one with the two darts. Where is it? Where are you, master link? I can't find my master link. Ah, oh, there it is. So normally an easy way to do it is to start with the master link up here, so that when you apply, you know that you've covered everything from start to finish. So I line up the master link and I start spraying. I'll do one complete rotation of the chain to get all that chain lube into the chain nicely. And I mean, you can see just how much stuff is dripping down here. If I bring the camera over, you can see exactly what is dripping out of the chain. Probably botched that now because I moved the camera. Never move the camera. Number one rule of moto vlogging. Right, and then you take your chain brush you just work the entire length of the chain. Doing the same thing, of course, lining up the master link so that you can scrub the whole thing. And I would typically do this on both the top and the bottom of the chain. To do it on this side, it's quite easy there. Once you've got all that loose grit off, what you want to do is you want to take your microfiber cloth and just start wiping off all the loose grease and stuff that is on the chain. Well, that was not nice. I have a screw in my tire. Not nice. Looks like I'm plugging tires somewhere in the same video. Something that I've been told is a good idea is to actually do this when you've just ridden your motorcycle while the chain is nice and warm because it's a little bit like stretched out and the chain cleaner tends to flow better through the motorcycle chain and get into all the tiny little places where all the sand and grit and stuff will tend to go. So. It's something that I do, I just got home and 
So as a result, now is the time I'm choosing. I can't believe I got a damn screw in my tire. The sad thing is, is this happened to a mate just yesterday. So now it's making me wonder if it's not deliberate. Like someone's trying to keep us off the bikes. And why? I thought my tire pressure was a bit low when I pulled in. So I mean, my chain is like as clean as I'm probably going to get it for the time being. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply more chain cleaner, but I'm also going to focus on cleaning the sprocket at the same time. Did you know that these things were actually silver? Let me know in the comments down below if your chain is, uh, if your sprockets are black or silver. Okay. And then I'll just take the second cloth, which is now clean. Give it a bit more chain cleaner. Clean up the sprocket nicely, front and rear. Both sides, do as good a job as I can. That's all done. I'm just going to take newspaper and clean up whatever residue of chain clean I might still be sitting on my chain. Jeez, the audio is probably garbage. Normally I would use toweling paper for this, but uh, I don't have any, which is shocking. So, just going to clean that up. Make sure there's no excess chain clean on here. Okay, and once you've completed that, what you want to do is take the chain loop and apply. Again, using the strategy of find your master link and start applying from your master link and work one revolution round. And then go on the inside here and repeat. And there we go. Such a simple task to do. I've completely cleaned and lubricated my chain. We are ready to sort out this back tire. There you have it. This was me sorting out the motorcycle chain on my motorcycle. It is the most neglected maintenance task for any rider out there and it's actually really important to do because like I said in the intro it can cause some serious damage to your motorcycle and it's really something that you don't want to end up having. So if you like this video why don't you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and ring that notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Matt and I make motorcycle content for you guys to hopefully enjoy. It's been awesome hanging out with you and until next time ride safe. By the way guys I'm running really close to needing to replace my brake pads. So if any of you guys want to help out and support this channel, why don't you check out my Patreon or PayPal links in the description down below. See, I've had to move away from Buy Me A Coffee because they no longer support PayPal.